This physicast is going to use Ohm's law and the idea of electrical power to examine a light bulb used with two different supply voltages. Pause the video and read through the question carefully. Having read through the question, a good place to start is to interpret what the question is actually asking. We have a light bulb with a power rating, 40 watts, uh, under a particular condition that is being used in a country where the supply voltage is 120 volts. And we're told that this light bulb has some, some maximum current that it can contain before it will fail, and in this case it's 0 0.8 amps. And the question based upon those conditions is asking what the resistance of that light bulb must be, and that if that light bulb was used in a different situation with a 240 volt supply voltage, what would happen? Would the light bulb survive? And if it did survive, what rate would it consume energy? What would be its power? So the important points for us here will be what do we know about electrical power in terms perhaps of current voltage and resistance. They're the things we might be interested in here. Um, and we'll need to get a relationship between those three quantities using Ohm's law. In the development stage, uh, a fairly simple diagram will give us an idea of what's going on. We have some voltage being supplied here, and it's going through a light bulb, which for us is essentially a resistor. So we have a current flowing through some resistance. And the important relationships here, well, Ohm's law tells us one relationship between those three quantities, and we know that the power that is dissipated with a current moving through a resistance going across a potential difference V here can be written as V times I or using the relationships between V, I and R in Ohm's law here it can be written as V squared divided by R and it can also be written as I squared multiplied by R. In our evaluate step for part A when we try to find the resistance of this light bulb the most useful form here might be that power equals V squared divided by R because we're told the power of this light bulb at a particular voltage so we can rearrange that to see that the resistance of this light bulb must be V squared divided by P and these are quantities that we know so we can simply write here the voltage being 120 volts we square that uh, it consumes power of 40 watts and that calculation quite straightforwardly gives us an answer of 360. It's a resistance, it will be in units of ohms if we've given our, our voltage and our power in SI units. So for part B, now we want to figure out if this was now using 240 volts, uh, would the light bulb survive? So we've got uh, a resistance R and a potential difference 240 volts. We should be able to rearrange Ohm's law or use Ohm's law in the form of I equals V divided by R and now we're considering 240 volts as our potential difference divided by our 360 ohms for our light bulb here and that will give us 0 0.67 of an amp and we're told the light bulb uh, can take a maximum of 0 0.8 amps so that's less than 0 0.8 amps so we're concluding there that the bulb will in fact survive. We could use that light bulb uh, with an Australian supply voltage of 240 volts. The second part of the second part here says if the light bulb will survive, what power would it consume? So we can use one of our relationships here. What about power equals voltage times current? We know our voltage is 240 volts in the second example here, and our current here. Well, I actually rounded that 0.67, so I might keep a few extra significant figures in this case. Uh, and if I do that, there's my V times my I. I wind up with a power of 160 watts for my bulb. Doing just a, a quick assessment step here at the end of our problem, uh, there's a couple of things we can check. We should go back and check our units um, to see that everything makes sense. One thing we can easily check is that with a larger voltage, we might expect to be consuming more power and indeed our, our light bulb went from 40 watts at 120 volts to 160 watts um, at 240 volts 
Uh, a nice thing to consider there is that if our power goes like v squared divided by r, then we can rearrange that to say that r will equal v squared over p. And so if our light bulb has a constant uh, resistance, then this v squared over p should remain constant. So if indeed we doubled the voltage, which we did going from 120 to 240, um, then we'll have a factor of an increase of four times at the top. We must have an increase of four times at the bottom to keep this constant. And so our 40 watts should become four times 40 watts, which is 160 watts. One thing that uh, an astute student might have been thinking as we're doing this is we have assumed in this solution that the resistance is a constant property of our light bulb. And you might be aware that in fact that's not an exact uh, case at all, that a light bulb typically heats up the filament inside and the resistance will change with temperature. And in fact the resistance for most materials, certainly for metals that would be making up a, a filament in a light bulb, the resistance will increase as temperature increases. So as we put more current through this light bulb by putting a larger potential difference across, the resistance will actually increase. And that actually means we're safer than we thought we were. Uh, if the resistance is larger than 360, as we put more current through it, we will in fact uh, end up with a smaller current. So with a larger resistance uh, over 240 volts. So that would make it you know, even more confident that our light bulb should survive. It does mean that we will end up with less current than we've calculated here. And so we might end up with a power usage here of, of something less than 160 watts uh, if we really took into account the fact that the resistance of this light bulb won't be constant. It will in fact increase.